Okay, guys, since since there's not many, uh, I'm gonna say videos on the web about port forwarding that shows it off correctly, I'm gonna, like, it, it shows up once when I searched Minecraft server, but then all the other server hosters just, like, show how to create the server and don't tell you shit about port forwarding. So I'm here to tell you guys about that. Okay, so you're gonna want to go to your start menu and then go to CMD. You open that, or I have get cmd but i'm using normal one you type ip config and you get this shite showing up you want to go to this you want to go to this it's your default it's listed under your default gateway go take that and type it into your hotbar i already have it because i mess with my ip a lot and okay now, once you get here, if you have ATT, Uverse, or whatever the fuck it's called, um, you go to Customize Firewall. Most, you just go to Settings, or like, there'll be a Firewall tab or something. Or you can just click Firewall. Then you choose your um, PC, or whatever you want to use. I have Xbox One, because I port forwarded Battlefield One, just in case I needed to. I don't know why I did. Um, I've also got my own PC here, I'm going to select that. Now what you're going to want to do, after you select your PC, is, well, before you do this part, you're going to go to you. what you're going to do after selecting this, you go to user defined, there will be all your um, application lists that you created. You click them, and then click, you click one at a time and click add, it's really annoying. I've got Terraria, Killing Floor, and Minecraft. I'm going to just show off these because I'm not going to add a new user to find, but that's basically... Oh, wait, I can't. Fuck. Um, hold on for a sec. Okay. So choose this. And if you want to remove it, I'm just going to show that because that's how I'm going to be editing it. Okay, you go to that. You go to Minecraft, remove... You need your access code, which I already have mine saved to my computer because I don't want to run to my router every time. It's on the side of your Wi-Fi router. Um, okay. Now, you can do add or add a new one, but I'm going to do edit or delete. I'm going to edit Minecraft. Um, you've got TCP and UDP, and then up here it'll say profile name what? It'll be a blank. You need to put in whatever game you're doing. And then you're going to have to search up the port. This is for a Minecraft server. This, you don't put anything. This would be if you're, like, making a Rust server. But there's nothing for Minecraft that's needed. You don't need this or this. All you need are the 25565 in UDP and T TCP. So you type that in, click Add to List, then go to the other one, type it in then click Add to List. That's why I have both. Or some routers put TCP slash UDP. Oh god, they're talking about... Rip. Okay. Now then. I have Killing Floor, which is hosted on a bunch of different ones. I think this one's the Steam one in general. Terraria, you've got 777. And then, you, once you go to your status, you find your public IP here. Now, this won't be useful until you actually start up the server, which I'll do a uh, another show-off for how to do that after this. This is your public IP. Or you could just type in... I'm going to go back here and add this. You could just type in... pub. Public IP. Uh, click on whatsmyip.com and you get this pulled up and it tells you right there. Sorry, they're messaging me. Don't like it. Okay, now once you've got it all created, you're going to want to choose yours or type your IP address from IP config here. Now you're going to want to use your. You're going to want to use your IPv4 if you're just doing the IP address. That's mine, but mine is also called Dylan PC. Now, if you have one of these unknown ones, 
because you didn't name your PC on the network, you're going to want to type that in so that you know which one it is. Now you go down to user defined, click application list, whatever it is, and then click add. Also, you're going to want to keep um, individual applications on because if you have maximum, you can't do any port forwarding. And if you have allow all, um, you basically get hacked as soon as you set it on. So keep it on individual. Click save. And that's about it for this tutorial. Hope you all enjoyed this nice IP config tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, type them in the comments. Note that I have no clue how to do this for other routers, so if it's not the same, I apologize. Um, bye.